Hello, welcome back to the show, yeah, welcome to the third installation of Green Bean Seam, yeah, we all nice here, yeah, hey, yeah, what's up? And we also got a, a special guest with us, um, it is, uh, who are you again? Oh yeah, it's nobody, because we're on a bunch of old souls just sitting in a room. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... As you all can tell, we have an amazing setup lined up for you. Well, it's Halloween! It's Halloween, yeah? We're gonna tell some spooky stories about our childhoods. Spooky stories about life in general. Spooky anything else, yeah? <laughs> so I hope you're ready for it. Are you ready for it, mate? Yeah, I think they're ready. Yes, yes, I think they're ready too. So, uh, do you want to start off, mate? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, uh, I remember I was walking down the street once in Townsville, and, uh, this big burly copper, he came up to me and he said, uh, Hey, you, what you doing? And I said, man, I'm just walking here. And he said, man, you can't be walking here because that's jaywalking. And I didn't know what jaywalking was, of course. Like, who would know what jaywalking is? Like, I don't. Yes, yes, I see the problem. Yeah, so, uh, I didn't know what jaywalking was. And so the man kept on trying to bash me in for trying to jaywalk. And I'm like, oh, man, I don't know what jaywalking is. He told me what jaywalking is. I couldn't believe him. You know? Whoa. Why are we setting this thing up on this? What, what the heck, man? Uh, sorry, I sorry. See, so he had it. He had it hung up on a music stand. Whatever. So, uh, I was sitting there. I was trying to, you know, talk to the cop and negotiate with him. Tell him that I didn't do it. He took me into the pound. And, uh, phew, I spent one solitary night in prison, man. I tell you. Phew, people. The people in there were sickening. We had, a. Uh, you know Mojo Jojo, the uh, the one dude, the one dude that sounds like uh sounds like uh he's like uh part Indian, part Native American, part uh African, part everything, you know? Yes, I remember Mojo Jojo. <laughs> yeah. Uh well they had Mojo Jojo there and you know what they started doing? They're trying to get Mojo Jojo to funk up on my uh my froyo, you know? And it didn't work. I I told them Mojo, I said Mojo, man, let's take a let's take a little pitch out of here, yeah. When the guards aren't looking, let's break out of this joint. And he said, "Yes." And I said, "Yeah, let's go." And uh, we uh we took a hop and a skip right out of there, you know. It was pretty nice. Um, but really sucks is is that uh, let me think, man. Uh, what really sucks about it was, though, was that uh, they caught me again. Except they didn't put me in prison, huh? They just made me go to school. Remember that Powerpuff Girl episode? They put me at school? Yeah, that was all staged. They, uh, that was actual real school. Because, uh, the real life me, not the actor, you know, not the child actor. But the real life me actually got uh, a little bit captured by the, uh, <laughs> HOA or whatever you want to call it. Why would the Homeowners Association thank you? Because uh, I was, you know, I was jaywalking. Right, yeah, I see. And me, uh, me and my boys, we didn't have a home. Right, yeah, so my story begins all the way back in uh, my hometown. Uh, yeah. Me and my father, Sebastian, you know, oh, that bloody soul, I hate him. Um, but Sebastian, Mr. Sebastian Nichols, um, I never go, never did call him that, by the way. I never called him Dad. I never called him Sebastian, like... I always called him Sir, because that was, he made me say Sir. Although he was a drunkard all the time, you know. Yeah, drunk parents are the worst. Yeah, yeah. And so, the drunkard father that I had, he actually forced me to uh, stand up in front of the stage and sing, uh, I've got no strings on me, yeah, you want me to do it for you? Uh, as long as it doesn't make you go into PTSD. No, mate, I've had to sing it so many times, I've actually gotten used to it. Oh, yeah, all right then. Right, here we go. The music plays, and I'm just like, there are no strings on me. Uh, and uh, I had a much higher pitched voice, yeah, I was a little bit up here, something like that. And I was like, there are no strings on me. And it was terrible, and yeah? the crowd booed at me, they threw tomatoes, they threw the empty glasses, they threw the liquor. Ooh, it was terrible. Yeah, yeah, I get that. But uh, what else are we going to talk about here on the green team, bean team? Halloween, yes. Um, yeah, Halloween. 
So, Halloween is a great time, yeah? I remember my first Halloween with Gorillaz. Why not we did? What did you do? Well, basically what we did was that we started, uh, we started making, uh, it was uh, during, uh, what was it? Making G-Sides, actually. G-Sides, a little bit of all those albums, were little scrappings of little things we did on the side, yeah? After we posted the original albums, yeah, like uh, Get Rid Is and then, you know, Demon Days. G-Sides and D-Sides were both, they were both uh, a part of uh, kind of the backwash songs that we had, yeah. Um, so G-Sides, actually, G-Sides was one of my favourites, you wouldn't know why. Why is that? Because G-Sides, we actually did uh, some of our spooky, spooky uh, songs on there. Hip Albatross, uh, as well as, uh, what was it, the Left Hand Suzuki Method. Um, that one was, uh, those two were our good Halloween classics. We made those on uh, October 31st, actually. Oh, it's beautiful. 2D wanted to write about a zombie. Uh, I wanted to write about random crap. And he said, Oh, why don't we write, to write about both? And I said, Sure, why not? Let's write about both. And we did. Um, so he said, I, 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 I was born a zombie. And I'm like, Oh, sure, sure, sure. Sure, you were born a zombie. Give me a second. There we go. Perfect. So I wasn't born. He wasn't born a zombie. Actually, he was. Uh, he was born a nice little boy. Actually, uh, I actually have a scary story for this. It's called the boy with the black eyes. Are you ready? Yeah. Take it away. So one day there was a boy with black holes of black to cover up where his eyes lost their track. They had gone astray and wiggled away to depths unknown and depths never found. When the boy found his eyes, they were not as they seemed. They glued, they glowed a certain black tint and gleam. They were disgustingly red and filled with morrow that even his side of them made him have sorrow. So the boy took painkillers to help him ease the pain, but all of it did was left him in vain. So this boy's name was 2D, as you were made of herd, and he's as stupid as a grey black bird. <laughs> Man, that was actually pretty good, actually. Really? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got one up. Uh, it's called The Boys with Green. Uh, uh, what do you want to go? Once there was a group of boys who were green, who didn't know what side they were on, but were always a team. One day, though, the boys, they headed off track. I couldn't find out where they were supposed to come back. And so they got lost in the woods and the ground until they were never anywhere with a sound. They couldn't find anything, not even a root, to help them tell which way was suit. Are you making this up? No, no, I'm not making this up. Hold on. So the green boys they gathered all in a stray to line up a row and make it a ray. When they got in that line, they walked through the woods and they ran into a police officer. <gasps> and he took them on the, under his hands and he put them in the juvie. Oh, that was scary, actually. I've been to juvie multiple times, actually, uh, a couple of times back in my day. You know, back in the days of Gerdes, yeah. Except it wasn't juvie, it was just Columbia. Yeah, <laughs> oh, you know, Columbia prison. Yeah. Well, uh, that's a good episode. That's a good thing of G bites. Uh, not G bites. Uh, whatever it is, Green Bean Team. Hope you enjoyed the Green Bean Team thing we got. Uh, we're gonna come out with a new one next Wednesday. Stick around. Yeah. Yeah. Signing off, Murdoch and Ace.